The following Keep the Joking Gamer video may include adult language, partial nudity, and adult situations. Parental discretion is advised. Why could it be? Beauty Boy Gaming, you beauty! Hey guys, what's up? Keep the show for you and here with you. And we're gonna take right now. We're gonna take a look at uh, probably yeah, probably by far one of my favorite controllers of all time. We're gonna take a look at the uh, small but very sleek six button Genesis controller. There it is. Now, I have two versions of this controller. I have the regular six button controller with uh, no like, uh, you know, turbo switch. And I have this one here, the turbo controller. Uh, the tro turbo controller sort of has uh, the A, B, and C buttons are, are raised slightly a bit better. Really nice. It's got that really nice form. You know, indentation on the buttons. Uh, nice floating, nice floating D pad, as you can see. Uh, turbo button does work. I don't use it at all. I don't know. We just keep it on normal. Mode button. I'm quite sure what that does. <coughs> well, here I know what the start button does. Sorry to keep this thing a bit of a cleaning now while that is. Just gonna clean out the uh, the screw ports, guys. This, this thing has been cleaned in quite a while. Yeah, uh, we got a bit of a fray going right there. So I gotta watch that. Cause I don't want the... I don't want the controller to, like, break on me. See? Right there. From doing this, I guess. From wrapping the controller up. If you guys can advise me any, uh, another way to, you know, like, store my controllers or whatever, so that so I'm not breaking my controllers, cords, cables. Now, uh, this is the infinite, infinite pins. Uh, this is where uh, the uh, Sega Genesis controllers also work on the, uh, I heard also work on the Terry 2600, because of this pin head. This, right here. This is my next, next favorite controller. Most comfortable controller next to the regular NES, then it's the Super NES controllers, then it's the uh, the PlayStation Air controllers from PS1 to PS2, PS3, there's the Xbox 360 controller, there's the Wii U Pro controller. We'll take a look at that one next, uh, actually. Uh, so, anyway, great controller. I really enjoy this controller whatsoever. This is probably one of the best and most, you know, comfortable controllers. I'm just gonna tell this, uh, this video here, controllers I like. So, uh, yeah, that's controller number one that I like. So next we'll take a look at the status controller. And then we'll be taking a look at the, uh, N64 controller. The GameCube controller because I like I really do like the comfortable and the second GameCube controller. Let's get some controllers here. There's Super Nintendo controller. 64. GameCube. Wii U Pro controller. Okay. 
Now I said next, my next favorite is by far the Super Nintendo controller. Now this is just one of my Super Nintendo controllers. I have two controllers pretty much for every system. So here we go. I love this controller. The feel of it. Now they brought this back for the this sort of feel for the original uh, classic controller for the, for the Wii uh, and basically where the start and select buttons were that's where they had the analogs I didn't really like that style of the uh, Wii classic controller that much alright now buttons do work feel really well d-pad's really nice I know this form makes, makes for a really comfortable controller. The side rounding off is slightly more comfortable than the master than the AES controller. Because every now and then a square form will dig into the bottom of your hands. Now my next favorite controller next to this one is this baby here the original GameCube controller let's take a look at this now the bad boy <laughs> yeah turn on the lamps yeah oh, okay yeah yeah okay so, uh, oh yeah, you can go. You know, it's uh, basically your analog sticks right here. Now I'm missing the uh, grip cover on this one. 